Hello, let's solve this together. We are asked to solve for x, that is, to find the value of x for which this equation is satisfied. One way to do this is to take this to the right hand side, square both sides, and then find the value of x. Another interesting way we can solve this is to equate the conjugate of this to a constant, and then find the constant substitute, and then find the value of x. Let's go through that route. So we have that square root of 4x plus 9 minus square root of 2x plus 1 is 2. The conjugate of this, you know that the conjugate of root a plus root b is equal to root a minus root b. Likewise, the conjugate of root a minus root b is root a plus root b. So the conjugate of this will be root 4x plus 9 plus root 2x plus 1. Let's create a constant, say a. Now, we call this equation 1 and this equation 2. Let's multiply equation 1 and equation 2 together. So, equation 1 times equation 2. Now, notice that this is difference of 2 squared. You remember, difference of 2 squared is x plus y, x minus y, will give x squared minus y squared. So, this is difference of 2 squared. From this, we will have the first term, all squared, 4x plus 9, all squared, minus second term, all squared. Remember, we are multiplying both sides, so we have 2a. Now, if we open the bracket, this square root will take care of this root sign, we will have 4x plus 9, Likewise, this 2x plus 1 equals 2a. Let's simplify for that. Open the bracket to have 4x plus 9 minus 2x minus 1 equals 2a. 4x minus 2x will give 2x. 9 minus 1 will give 8 equals 2a. You can divide through by 2, which is common. So that we have x plus 4 equals a. Now, a is x plus 4. So we'll go back to equation 2 and substitute a as x plus 4. So we'll have, let's repeat it, 4x plus 9 minus 2x plus 1 equals 2. And so equation 2, we'll have 4x plus 9 plus root 2x plus 1 equals x plus 4. Let's call this equation 3 and let's call this equation 4. Now, in this time around, we are going to add equation 3 and equation 4 together. So, equation 3 plus equation 4. If we add this, this will go with this and it will be 0. This plus this will be 2 root of 4x plus 9. And this plus this will be x plus 6. Now I can divide both sides by 2 so that I have root 4x plus 9 will be x over 2 plus 3. Now I can square both sides to remove this root sign. 4x plus 9 all squared x over 2 plus 3 all squared. How do we square this? If you have a plus b all squared, this is simply the first term all squared, which is a squared, plus the power multiply the first term, multiply the second term, which is 2ab, plus the last term all squared, which is b squared. So to do that here, We we'll have this all square will be x squared over 4 plus 2 times x over 2 will be x and x times 3 is 3x and 3 squared is 9. We can subtract 9 from both sides so that this 9 will go with this 9. So what we are left with, we take 4x to the right hand side, we we'll have x squared over 4 plus 3x 
minus 4x equals 0. 3x minus 4x is minus x. So we have x squared over 4 minus x equals 0. We can multiply through by 4 so that we have x squared minus 4x equals 0. So we can factorize x out. x, x minus 4 equals 0. The product equals 0 implies that x is equal to 0 or x minus 4 is equal to 0 which implies that x is either equal to 0 or x is 4. We can check it. If we substitute 0 for x, this will be check for x equals 0. If we substitute 0 for x, we have 4 times 0 is What times 0 is 0 plus root 9. So we have this is root 9 minus root 1 because this is 0. Root 9 is 3, root 1 is 1, which is 2. Correct. What about 4? If you substitute 4 for x, we have 4 times 4 plus 9 minus root 2 times 4 plus 1. Which is 16 plus 9, 25, which is root of 25 minus 8 plus 1, 9, root of 9. Root 25 is 5, and root 9 is 3, which is 2. Confirm. So it means the value of x for which this equation is satisfied is 0 or 4. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.